So forgive the lighting. I waited till it's starting to get dark out, but I wanted to share with you this one simple secret of success. We talked about it a little bit earlier. Find something that's interesting to you. Find something that's meaningful to you and pour yourself into it as completely as you can. Back in my 20s, it was karate. And once I fell out of that somewhere in my early to mid 30s, it was a long time before I got another one. Um, part of it's this business now, part of it's speaking. You know, I, I do have, uh, I have daughters now, so trying to uh, focus on at least being a somewhat decent father to them. I have a variety of things that are interesting and meaningful for me now. But if you're not paying attention to that, if you're not really pouring yourself into it, you've got to keep having something that you can really put your focus into. Life is painful. That's a given. There's going to be challenges. Things are going to go sideways. There are things you're going to go physically, mentally, emotionally wrong, and it's going to be unpleasant at times. If you don't have something that really means something to you, that you can pour yourself into, that you can just be that thing for a little while, be that activity... Life's going to kick your ass. <laughs> I mean, it certainly kicked my ass. Hopefully it goes easy on you. But uh, I don't think it will. You need that activity. You need that meaning. When you pour yourself into it, it's very satisfying at the time you do it. But more and more, there's sort of a background hum in your life of something like satisfaction. Something like knowingness that there's at least more things out there that you can reasonably face and work your way through. That's a cool experience. And I hope you're willing to take the time and face the discomfort so you can have that experience for yourself. Find something that's meaningful for you. Pour yourself into it. You're going to be happy you did. I'm Ben Langley. Thanks for spending some time with me today. We'll talk again soon.